On December 14, 2012, lone gunman Adam Lenz of forced entry into Sandy Hook Elementary School shortly after 9.30 a.m. and opened fire. The school went into lockdown. However, for some, it was too late. I'm Rick Williams, along with Monica Malpass. It is certainly the, the deadliest day ever to take place inside of an elementary school in the United States. And that is our big story on Action News on this Friday night. The shooting in Connecticut that left 27 people dead, as Monica mentioned, including 20 elementary school students between the ages of 5 and 10 years old, as well as the gunman. It happened 60 miles northeast of New York City at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. Residents describe it as a small and quiet town and tonight, the entire community is grieving. 20 Sandy Hook students between the ages of 5 and 7 were murdered at the hands of Adam Lanza, along with six teachers and administration members. These six adults stood as upstanders and lost their own lives trying to save the students that they loved. Administrators, including the principal of Sandy Hook Elementary, Don Hawksprung, are reported to have ran towards Lanza trying to tackle him. Teachers in their classrooms threw themselves in front of their students as gunfire ricocheted through the building. The actions of these teachers demonstrates the love teachers have for their students and the need to protect them at all costs. This is why I have decided to create a memorial to honor these teachers as well as their young students. It is a walk-through area of reflection. On the ground, there are two circles of stars. The outer circle contains 20 stars, one for each of the 20 children that died that day. The inner circle contains six stars, one for each of the teachers who died on that day. All of the stars will remain unlabeled. This is to give consideration to the victims' families. This memorial will be placed in Newtown, Connecticut, although not in the Sandy Hook neighborhood. Over the past few years, the community, as well as the victims' families, have not been welcomed to media attention, and leaving labels off of each individual star helps to respect their privacy while honoring those who lost their lives. The last star in the middle is left for the next victim because, unfortunately, school shootings have been a problem in the United States. On April 20th, 1999, two students killed 13 people at Columbine High School in Colorado and then shot themselves. After that, as a nation, we said we would stop school shootings. Then, on October 2nd, 2006, a man entered an Amish schoolhouse in Nickel Mines, Pennsylvania and opened fire, killing five students between the ages of 7 and 13 before turning the gun on himself. After that incident, we as a nation said we would stop school shootings. On April 16, 2007, a senior at Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, Virginia, shot and killed 32 people before committing suicide, making that the deadliest single gunman shooting in United States history. After that, we as a nation said we would stop school shootings. Clearly, as these events keep happening, there are issues in the United States concerning how safe the nation's school students really are. Unfortunately, the issue of school shootings has become more about political debates over the right to bear arms instead of thinking about the millions of children enrolled in the nation's schools and universities. Until the issue really stops, the lone star will remain, waiting for the next victim to claim its value. Until then, we as a nation should continue to honor the deceased, especially those who put other safety before their own, attempting to stop these nightmares from becoming reality.